Hey, Climates, it's Space Cubic Snub here with something new, something that's called uh, This Week in Review. So I used to do this for uh, a clan a while ago, and it was just basically a weekly shout out to a couple of uh, clanmates that uh, obviously were doing a lot of hard work and uh, getting some great numbers, as well as uh, just sort of like a weekly comment on uh, where the clan is at and where we're going and what we've been doing. So, let's uh, get to it and you'll see what these uh, videos are going to be about. So, Clan Fix currently ranked 105 with a clan rating of 8200 or so. I've uh, been doing quite a few skirmishes at Tier 8, Tier 6s. I really got to know when you guys are doing Tier skirmishes because uh, tier six skirmishes, because I would like to get in on some of those. Um, at some advances and of course the global map is underway so we're uh, currently ranked 107 here and we're making some cashola so what's new and different so we got a couple of people that uh, new people that join Joe 150 uh, he's a bit of a rager but he's a cool guy and he's got some fantastic stats grab it and run super nice guy to play with it uh, looks like Dragonstorm got uh, promoted to recruitment officer. And Shoitan, uh, again, proper pronunciation of his name, Shoitan. Uh, these guys, a couple of these guys came from uh, DDS, so we know them from there, and we welcome them. And I'm sure, as they're all easygoing uh, guys, they'll fit in well. So, uh, so let's talk about... Um, random battles so Zaw commander at 68 now Zaw cheats there's clearly he's cheater war pack so we're going to discount him because he doesn't count but tank killer northern lion with 65 and 64 percent win rates and random battles in the last 28 days that is a sweet number so nicely done there now i know some people go by win eight uh, or prefer win eight I'm a win rate kind of guy, but let's look at uh, recent win eight. Northern line, Lul, Lul155, I don't know, Dirty Deeds and Executive Officer. Actually, there's quite a few uh, people uh, above the 2000 range or you know close to it, plausible, mighty. Those are some seriously good numbers. Uh, way to go there. So, Stronghold. So currently the clan is at a, uh, it's got a command center at number eight, financial at seven. Um, I think all in all, uh, it's a pretty good starting point. Uh, I think after this uh, transition with all these DDS guys coming in here, means that um, we uh, hopefully will see these numbers uh, change uh, fairly quickly. As I said before, we're doing quite a few skirmishes and advances. So in skirmishes, who's been who's been doing what? So we got quite a few guys. Even though, um, so this this doesn't make the distinction between tier six or tier eight, but in the skirmishes, we got some decent numbers above fifty percent. So sick, Cyberus, Katie, uh, Zaw, War, Warrior, Boff, Captain Camo, and Glowworm, all above fifty percent. That's nice uh, win rates and uh, reasonable amount of uh, battles too. And for the hard work, uh, Emperor, 12 games uh, in seven days at skirmishes. That's, uh, that's a lot of time and effort to put in there. In global, is this global battles? Yeah, global map. All right, so we're currently ranked, uh, or got an EOA rating of 956. Numbers are going up, pain points are going up. Clan is ranked 107 at this point. We've had 39 games in this campaign and we're sitting at around 48, 49%. That's, I think, pretty respectable. Uh, you know, a lot of things considered here. Uh, we did, uh, during the week, hold uh, some provinces and got a bunch of bonuses and a bunch of cash for that. You can see we got some decent amount of cash here. Uh, so that's kind of new, I guess, I think. I think it's new. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, military personnels 
in global map so who's been doing what on the global map again when you look at some of these numbers there's quite a bit right so when we get down into like the 57 even like at this point I can't really scroll down too much otherwise you're gonna miss too much but we got 42 active players in the last seven days and all of these guys Hells Bells Mighty Channel El Delabro Morrier Hayward Caruso Caru Caru I don't know, whatever. Cat, Dragon, Sir Bonkers, Edward, Cybrus, Ginger, Black, uh, Triton, Plausible, Captain Camel. I mean, oh my God, like all these people with above 50%. That's pretty wicked. And when we want to look at who's been putting in all the time and effort, obviously Zion Emperor with all their calling, um, which is, you know, not easy. It's a hard, it's hard work. So, you know, hats off to them for uh, putting in the time and effort to do that. Sick. Dirt, Triton, Jamie, Boff, all guys uh, with two-digit uh, clan war. So that's that's pretty sweet. Advances. So advances numbers uh, were you know a little bit on the low side. It'd be hopefully um, something that we can work on. Thirty-six active players. We got a couple people with uh, decent. Uh, Again, it's it's interesting because there's quite a few people that um, have above 50% win rates. Um, you know, myself, Space. Hey, look at me. I'm up at the top on this one. Just Cause, Grab It, T-Dog, uh, T T Diddly. I think that's T Dog. I don't know why. I, anyways. Uh, Dirt, Boff, um, Mike, Diablo, Cat, Ginger. Right, all of these above 60% is pretty sweet. And again, advances, you know, you have to give a shout out for people for playing skirmishes and advances because it is very much for the benefit of the clan. So Ibanez, uh, Emperor, BC, Jamie, Sortek, Shoitan, Rolling Thunder, uh, Beast God, Jafter, Boff, uh, there's quite a few people with uh, two-digit numbers, and uh, that's that's really appreciated because that all of that gameplay, you know, contributes to team play, contributes to increasing strongholds, bonuses, whole whack of stuff. So much thanks to all of those uh, clanmates. Now the only sort of new or different thing uh, that I wanted to point out is when you go into the training room which is where these videos are going to get posted uh, so if you wanted to watch them uh, you could uh, a previous one you could click on it but there's also a hyperlink uh, underneath something called availability and what that's going to do is it's going to take you to this uh, quick uh, form and you basically just click off what days you think you might be available to play or more likely able to play and which days, obviously very importantly, um, you are not able to play. Now, this isn't like some hard and fast rule or anything like that. This is just uh, a bit of data for the guys that basically chip into the clan wars to get a sense, uh, even in advance uh, for that uh, to, to a certain degree, just gives them a sense as to what when is more likely that we're going to have uh, quite a few people uh, on TeamSpeak and that they may, for example, be able to pitch uh, chip a game uh, at a different uh, hour. And the data that we get looks something like this. So, uh, and it tells us each day, and it's interesting already because you can see Monday and Wednesday at 10 p.m., uh, is is uh, at least the six people that have uh, already filled this out uh, are the day is so th those are the days where clearly we, we have we should have the most amount of people on there and like I said maybe if we're at clan war is running and it's a Monday that's the day that someone can go you know what I'm gonna chip and the more games we chip the, uh, the more opportunities we're gonna have to win have provinces increase the numbers recruit get more gold rich famous it's gonna be all those things anyways that's my week in review what I plan on doing uh, every week uh, just to give uh, a sh like I said mostly a shout out to uh, the cheaters and uh, the legitimate people who are uh, doing better and um, 
yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, you can always uh, like and subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel so that when one gets posted up there, you'll see it. If there's something that you want me to include in these videos, like a specific, um, you know, bit of data or or metric, like um, you want to see, uh, you know, who does win eight and something or another, put it in the comments, and I can always add it in there. Hopefully, you guys enjoy uh, this video, and we continue to make some more.